<laughs> He's Terra Dark on Riddle. <laughs> Imagine running Terra Dark on your Riddle Boom. That's crazy. Yo, what is up, guys? Zorin here with another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet BGC video. Hope, every hope everyone's doing well. Now, today I am bringing you one of my own teams, and I've been wanting to make this team for a bit. I was going to wait till Regulation Age started, but I really want to play with Slowbro. So here it is. We're playing with Slowbro and Vika Volt as well. Uh, Slowbro can learn Expanding Force, so we do have some side spam going on here. But with the, the cool part about Galarian Slowbro is that it has Quick Claw and Quick Draw. So if you don't know what Quick Draw does, it's basically Quick Claw, but with a 10% higher chance. So it's a 30% chance for you to basically go first before anybody else in your priority bracket. So if they still have like Extreme Speed, I, I think they still go first, I'm pretty sure. But you basically get to um, go first in the in the turn order if it activates. Same thing with Quick Law, it's the same thing. But Quick Law is at 20%, Quick Draw is at 30%. So you have two different uh, activation chances for Slowbro to go first, which is really cool. Even though we're in a Trick Room team, it's still nice to be able to go first. You never know, you can surprise them with an Expanding Force right off the bat while you're putting Trick Room up with Ndidi. But yeah, we have Shell Side Arm, which is a signature. It, uh, fun fact, it can be either physical or special, depending on what's higher. This is a special Slowbro, obviously, so it's going to be on a special side. We have Dark Terra to just cover its weaknesses. We have Haze here in case we run into Dozos. And we have Trick Room just to put a, uh, have a, another way to put Trick Room. So that's kind of the whole point here with Slowbro is to just have Trick Room so the rest of the team can basically be able to activate. We got NDD here as well as our other Trick Room and also our Redirection Mon with Psychic Surge. We have Ability Shield because I have been seeing Weezing a lot lately and I just don't want to deal with Weezings. I hate Weezing. So just in case we run into Weezings, I have Psychic Surge Ability Shield. That way, even if they have it out, at least we have our Psychic Surge go, go off anyways. We got Vicavolt here. And the whole point of having Vicavolt here is that we have Electric Terra with Thunderbolt and Discharge. And it's Life Orbs. And it's also Electric Terra. So we want to hit really, really hard with this Vicavolt. It's Electric Terra, Discharge, because we like to pair it up with the Ursa Luna. So that way Ursa Luna can go for the Earthquakes. And we have Ghost Terra, because I used to have Ground Terra, but I really needed some defensive... Um, Terra's here because Earth, if Ursula gets hit by like something like maybe we run to Rillaboom and we just can't keep the Psychic Surge up, those Grassy Glides will be very, very annoying. So just having a, a way to defend this Ursula from taking any super effective damage is really nice. And it's also a, a good to have an immunity to fighting. We've got Torko here, another hard hitter, and we have got Lilygon here to help Torko in case the Trick Room isn't something we can do. We can always go Lilligan Torko. If you don't know the combo, it's just, you just bring out Lilligan, you bring out Torko, Chlorophyll, Torko, after you into the Torko. Torko gets to go first because of after you, and then it just uses Eruption with Fire Terra and just blows him up with Charco as well. We have three triple fire moves because we don't really need the ground moves thanks, since we have Ursa Luna on the team. So I kind of just decided we we could opt out in, out of it and just go flamethrower because just in case they have wide guard, wide guard could still be a thing. There's a lot of it, spread moves in this in this meta still. We might as well just have a way to ensure that Turgle can get some damage off. But yeah, that's pretty much the team. Not much else to say about the team. The only thing I want to say real quick is I want to give a huge shout out to Darth, uh, Darth Bear, my friend. He was the one that was able to help me get the Ursa Luna and the Lilligan because I don't have Pokemon Arceus. So I needed someone to get me a Nurse Luna and Lilligan. So thank you very much, Sars, because without you, I wouldn't have been able to make this team. But with that said, I think that's enough yapping, guys. If you guys want the rental and the Poke Pace will be in the description below. Make sure to like and subscribe if you guys want more VGC content and also PokeGS content. I'm also doing that, but it helps greatly and lets me get my chicken nuggies. So with that said, let's just get straight into it and see what we can find. Okay, well, they have their own trick room, that's for sure. Ain't gonna be fun for me. But I think that's okay. I have a lot of ways to resist my stuff, though. That's for sure. I have a lot of resists. A lot, a lot of resists on that team. Just these two instead of Silverbolt. Silverbolt doesn't really do much here, huh? Yeah. I think it's just these four. Call it a day there. We'll call it a day there. Very, very heavy meta team on that side, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Will it be the end of me? Because that's his name, Finn. Also means uh, the, the little fin of the fish. The little hand thing of the fish. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see what we can do here. We just need to get Trick Room up. 
I think. Before they do. We could have brought Lily. We could have brought um Lilligant though. Lilligant wouldn't have been nah no, Lilligant would have been terrible into this. We don't have they have like four resists. They have Dragonite, Goldengo, Incineroar. Yeah, four things. So better not to play around with that. So we're just gonna go with this. I hope for the best. Okay, they are doing that. Oh, they must have Ice Spinner. Is that what they're going for? They could just have Ice Spinner here. Just wondering, what do I do here? Do I just Trick Room? Do I Terra here? I could Terra, but if they go for a knockoff into the Karen, that would be really bad. I'll just go for a Follow Me Trick Room. Call it a day. Expanding Force isn't really my, my game plan here anyways. And then we can just switch into the bear and start blowing everything up. Okay, I guess the guy doesn't know that psychic like terrain means no fake out. This guy just thought, oh look, Incineroar. I heard it's really good and, and fake out's really strong. Let me just forget about psychic terrain, I guess. Aerial Ace. Wow, that did a lot. That's Choice Bandit for sure. That is 100% Choice Bandit. I'm not I'm not defensive, like max defense in this. It's, it's more special, but... That's definitely, uh, that's definitely something. I wonder if it's the other thing then. Well, I think I'm just gonna go for a... I think I'm just gonna switch into Bernard here. I just go for Dazzling. Call it. I'll be fine if he goes down because then I could just go into uh back into my back into Cassidy. Yeah, that's fine. That's why I didn't want to go into that slot with Bernard. I had a feeling it was just gonna knock that off. There's the area lace. It's does significant chunk, that's for sure. Okay. Uh, we definitely don't want to go into that. We'll just go into this. What might he? What might he come in with in the back there? No idea. But I think I'm just gonna facade something. I could go for, no, if I go for headlong rush, I, lo I lose. I lose my damage here. So yeah, I'm gonna go for the uh I think go for this more than anything. I just go for expanding. I think that's fine. Yep. Went for expanding just in case he swapped out Incineroar. Perfect! Yeah, Moongus is actually the perfect one for him to be switching into. Double swap, okay. Fine with me. You're about to take a facade and an expanding force. Oh, you are. That that is the last thing you want to be losing. Yeah, your your, your Amoongus is gone. <laughs> your Amoongus is not living. That this isn't living either. My bear, your bear. Boop. Bye bye. Have a good night. Let's go slow, bro. Let's go, Saluna. Show him what's up. Show him what's up. Yeah, Mungus was actually like the biggest scare here, but not that scary if he switches it in. That's why I went for the Expanding Force just in case, since I wasn't really caring about the Incineroar right there. I thought that would actually have been the best way to deal with. It does lower my attack on my bear, but I think that's fine. I could just go for a headlong rush into this and a shell side arm on this. Yeah. 
And we're going first. Boop. And it's gone. There you go. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, we got to use the shotgun. We got to use the shotgun. Low kick. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting, that's for sure. All right, we'll go into uh, Oomph and see what Oomph can do because he, he's, he's resisted, which is, I think, completely fine. I think my strongest attack here is, is expanding force because of those terrain, though. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna go for eruption, obviously, and just go for expanding onto the slot. Quick claw activated this time, not quick draw. Quick claw. <laughs> Everything's activating today. We're going full on activation here. We're activating everything. This slow bro is going quick. It's thinking. Not that it matters much because we're under trick room, but it's still funny. Oh my god, that did a lot. Yeah, but that was definitely not multi scale. This is gonna just KO. Goodbye. There you go. Nice, we get a win with our slow bro. Let's go, slow bro. I love my slow bro. I love my slow bro. I just realized the, the 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 cannon on his hand like loses his eyes whenever he does his little victory pose. Alright, let's get into the next game. Oh, a serial ledge. Okay. Serial ledge is scary, and there is also that thing in the in the back. There's a lot of things that don't want to get hit by Torkoal though. Something to consider here. It's definitely Cassidy, right? They do have a dark type. They have two dark types. Oh, I think I can just go with these. Uh, this. Nothing on this team really screams that it's faster than Leo, but. We definitely bring Torco here. We bring Torco. Silver Bolt. I don't know if I don't know if I bring Silver Bolt here. It's not bad into most of these things, but I think Bernard is just better because it hits a lot of the other things. Yeah, it's just these four again. Sadly, we're not going to get to do the Disquake thing with, with Ursuluna and Vicavolt. But there's so many things in, on that side that I don't want to, like, just do it. But le honestly, the Levitate on, on Vicavolt is really nice to have. In case they have, like, you see a lot of um, ground threats. Because it, it's it's not weak to ground. And it basically, it has no weaknesses. It's only neutral to neutral and resisted. It has, resist, it has resist and it's neutral. It doesn't have any weaknesses thanks to Levitate. But yeah, I had a feeling this was gonna happen. We should be slower, right? Yep, there you go. Okay, I'm gonna go for the expanding force right off the bat. And I'm just gonna go for... Um... He's Terra Dark on Riddle <laughs> Imagine running Terra Dark on your Riddle Boom, that's crazy. Absolutely crazy. We didn't get the quick quick draw activations though, which is kind of nuts. Damn, is this actually gonna KO? It is. Wow. Okay. That's cool. Dark <laughs> Terra Rillaboom is what I end up matching into, huh? Okay, cool. That's fantastic. I'll we'll just get rid of his parkour guy at least. We're going to Umphir. This guy really doesn't like expanding force, that's for sure. For him to be doing this. 
But again, all I really need is to bring out um this. I think oh he has Ariel though. Ariel could pose a problem for me actually. Especially if he goes for a raw hypnosis here, I think that's gonna be really bad. I have to Terra here, I have to Trick Room. I'm just gonna switch into Bernard. I get my um flame orb going. If I can get it going. I'm really not happy that I have to worry about a hypnosis hitting here. But it is what I can do, and I really didn't think a Terra like who would have thought that? That's the only way it would have they they could stop me. Oh they went straight for the Okay, nice, we avoided it. Wow, he really is anti-trick room on this team. He's super anti-trick room on this team. Wow, that's insane. He's absolutely anti-trick room. Okay. Well, we can haze away those stats away. I just go for protect real quick. Because I'm gonna I'm gonna haze that stuff away. I'm not dealing with that, especially because he's at plus one defense. So I need to get rid of it anyways. Now you like that? Doesn't feel too good, does it? We're back to plus zero, punk. I have, I have some I have some tech too. Oh, of course. My bad. Trump beating. Okay. So now I should be able to do damage to it. I'm just gonna go for a sh shell side armor and I'm just gonna headlong rush this slot. I think that's fine. Oh, now you wanna do it? <laughs> now you wanna quick claw? Okay. Oh, he's not gonna like this. He thought I was going for facade? No, I'm going for headlong rush. Not dealing with that. It's Rocky Helmet Serialage. This guy is insane. What is with this team? What is this team? Honestly, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that, honestly. Bring him in. Here he comes this thing again. Only thing I'm not cool with is that Trick Room's gonna expire soon. Oh, uh, that's not what I wanted to check. I have two turns, okay. Not too bad. This thing is the more of a menace thing anyways. I'm just gonna protect. This thing is a scarier thing anyways into my team right now. I just wanna get some damage into it. Quick draw, damn. Okay, Cassidy's just going in today, huh? There's no hypnosis though, he would've done it by now. There's no reason not to. That accuracy drop just came into play. That's huge for him. I need damage on that Rilla Boom when he gets that. He got he got that. Bro, can he stop? Like holy! That's two accuracy drops. Jesus. That is annoying. I'm gonna I'm just gonna haze my, my accuracy drops. I'm so tired of this. No, I'm gonna I'm just gonna hit hit the shell side now. And go for eruption. I need to KO this 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 Rillaboom. This Rillaboom literally counter counters like most of my team right now. My 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 uh my dude. It's not enough, but that's fine. Still good enough damage. Aerial substance. Oh my god. Okay. Our horsepower, fine. 
Not a big deal. Sunlight fades. Fine. We need to just trick him again, I think. He might he might go for the tail uh tail thing again though. That's the only problem, he might do that. But I, I think I have to go for the trick room. And I'm gonna protect. And if he does that, so be it. At least now he has to target which one he wants to take out. Snarl. This guy has Snarl as well. What is this Rillaboom, dude? Yeah, Muddy Water is gonna hurt. Oh, he went for Muddy Water, not... Okay, that's fine. I'm cool with that. Let's bring back my Trick Room. This guy's cooking way too hard. It's not getting him anywhere. I'm just getting back my health anyways. I'm switching out the. Uh, I'm gonna haze here. And I'm switching out my uh, Bernard. I just don't want to get rid of. The, I just want to get rid of the uh, the thing, right? The accuracy drops because uh, two accuracy drops. I got lucky with that one, with that arm thing. So <laughs> I just want to not. Oh God. That's fine. That's fine. Quick Lie and Quick Draw is really nice to have just in case I don't get Trick Room up, but we're gonna go ahead and just haze it. Haze those dang things away. They're gonna muddy water, that's fine. Maybe it's not fine actually, I might just lose my, my dude here. There's another Snarl. That's fine, honestly. This is a dark Rillaboom, by the way. It's an evil Rillaboom. I have not seen it use a grass move yet. I think. I'm pretty sure it hasn't. High horsepower Snarl. Most likely Fake Out. And Knock Off. This guy just doesn't like um, Expanding Force. That's, that's all I'm understanding right now. Alright, Eruption should just KO here though. I'm just gonna haze away my, my thing again. Actually no, I'm just gonna flamethrower, just to be safe. Yeah, I do need my 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 dude to be able to hit hit this um my Lodic. Yeah, let's just get rid of the Rillaboom, it's getting really annoying. Get rid of it. I'm, I'm over it. Then we just haste this away. Now we're back at plus zero. But of course, he's gonna keep spamming muddy water. He could still win this because of that. Oh my god, dude. He's gotten an accuracy drop every single time he's used it, though. And that's actually frustrating. Like, Jesus. His Muddy Water can miss, too. That's the thing. He can miss, but he's getting the accuracy drops more often. Which is kind of crazy. When you think about it. Okay, I'm just going to go for Shell Side. Wait, does Shell Side Arm have a chance to miss? I actually never really bothered looking at that. No, it doesn't. Just We're just getting really unlucky with that. Yeah, okay, I'm just going to go for the Flamethrowers. Oh boy, I did not want you to... Oh no, it's fine. Whatever. Oh my god, dude. Seriously? How is my RNG this bad? Come on, man. Dude, he can miss. I'm pretty sure Muddy Water has a, has a low accuracy and he can miss. 
Oh, he won. He won because of this. <laughs> I can't do anything about it. Yeah, he won. Oh, man. Yeah, there's nothing I can do, though. Maybe save. Maybe I could have saved my... Um... Maybe it was... Just... No, he was under sub. I don't think it would have mattered if I went to Luna. But now we gave it Marvel Scaling, if, if, if it has it. Yeah, it's not enough. If we didn't miss that shell side arm, and he didn't keep getting accuracy drops, we would have been fine. We would have won. We would have won. It was just a lot of RNG went to his side. We got lucky with one Dragon Tail. That was it. And then he started just winning. Oh yeah, now we, now we completely lost. Unless we get quick draw and then we we crit or something. Yeah. Oh, he missed finally. I mean, it, it's not enough, but he did miss. All right. Well, Mister Mister Cassidy, if you want to win right now, it's time to do some quick draws. Because if you quick draw, we win this. We win this if you just quick draw. <laughs> no way! No way, Cassidy! Oh my god! Oh! That's why you you call him the Cassidy. It's high noon, boys. <laughs> okay, okay, slow bro. Okay, okay, let's go, let's go. I didn't doubt you for a second, slow bro. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's go to the next one. Okay, well, Trick Room is definitely gonna be a thing here, and they do have, they do have my Dragon. They do have my Dragon. Hi, Dragon is on on the team. Okay. Is there ever a shot they go with Talonflame though? Because I could literally call this. Kinda. Sadly, I don't think I can ever go Silver Bolt into these teams. Like, it looks really nice into... Oh, uh, you know what? Actually, it doesn't look that bad. I actually like it here. We're gonna go for it. I actually like it here. Yeah, because it, it deals with the uh, Hydreigon. Kinda. Okay, I kind... Maybe not, actually. I might... If it Terra's, we're, we're in deep trouble, actually. Yeah, we're in deep trouble with Terra's. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I think I need a Tarko. In case of Terra's. But we could have we could we could still go to revolt. Okay, there's this thing. It's definitely just beat up stuff here, right? We just wanna beat up and that's it. I'm just gonna trick room and follow me then. Oh I guess he could taunt me. That's true, he could taunt me. How badly do I need my Terra here? Not that bad, honestly. I'm gonna just go for this instead, honestly. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. I know what I'm doing. Hold on. I'm being dumb. Follow me. Trick room. Done. I don't know what I'm... I'm, I'm overthinking the, this turn. Just trick room and, and follow me. <laughs> he was going for that too. That's so silly. There, there's redirection. You, do you not know that redirection gets... That happens or something? Yeah. He actually went for the... This guy disrespected me so hard. Like, I was going to follow me anyways. But, like... I... I, I the reason I was overthinking things is because I was going... I was going to do, um... Expanding Force, follow me, but I was thinking of Taunt, and I was like, oh, he, he could take away my Taunt. And I was like, never mind, I don't need to do that. I can just do this. Alright, let's just, let's just go with this. Let's see what happens. 
Worst comes to shove, if we lose, if, we, if they get that thing off, I don't think they're gonna do it again, though. There's no way you do it again. Not after I just showed you what happens when you, when you try for it. Yeah, just go for Expendo or Forso with Helping Hand. And just side spam my way to victory. Little family of four rats with his giant ape uncle is not about to do anything to me here. Okay, Mousel goes. It's probably High Dragon here, right? Oh, Rillaboom. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Completely forgot about Rillaboom there. I forgot they had one. Did they just withdraw both of them? No, they didn't. They just left it in. I mean, this is still gonna hurt. Oh yeah, it definitely hurt. Okay. He has fake up potential now. That's the only thing, huh? He has fake out now. I think I just switch into this. Hmm, maybe not. Hold on. He could rage fist my dude now. Is a is a problem. Especially because I just hit him. Okay, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna switch into these two. I can't go for earthquakes though because of the of the um the grassy terrain, right? Fine with me. Oh, did he go for Warhammer? Woodhammer here? Oh, you turn. Okay. I'm okay with that actually. Absolutely okay with that. Cause I have silver bolts in the in the in the front. Where's Hydragon? He didn't bring Hydragon into a side spam team? Really? That was my biggest issue. That was like the one that I was like really really scared of here. Jesus, that's a lot of healing though. Literally it's like almost back to full because of that. I wonder if I just switch out and go for Earthquake. Not right, I don't. I don't know if Earthquake plus that would KO it, that's why. I think I just facade discharge, call it a day. Let's just go for it. Let's just see how much damage this uh this pickable. It's because I'm scared because a friend guard. Friend guard could just make me sad real quick. He's terrorized. Oh, he went. He actually goes terror. Oh, never mind. Fire terror. Okay. I mean, why would you fire terror? That means my earthquake would have hit much harder on you, and then the terrain definitely would have not mattered. What? What were you scared of? Air Slash? Oh, that's gone. Oh, well, this is a single target discharge. Surely KOs, right? Alright. Alright, Silver Bolt. Let's see you go off. Wow, it doesn't KO. That's... That's nuts. That's nuts that that doesn't KO. This thing has base like 130 special attack. For that to not KO, it's one base 145. There's no way that should be that feel that weak. What? That's crazy. And he's he's practically back at full health after that. That's insane. Oh, he does have Hydreigon. Okay. But at least he Terra, so I should be fine now. Just go for facade onto this slot and go for bug buzz. Honestly, he might protect, but 
might double protect actually this might be my last turn of trick room it is okay double protect is actually not that wild okay if it is so be it not much else I can do about that there's the first protect he didn't protect both of them that's wild. That must think that thing must be specs. Either specs or scarfed. One or the other. Cause once we force the Terra, the the Hydragon doesn't feel as threatening anymore. So that is just really bad because we have um Ursaluna here. And we gonna put up Trick Room. We want Trick Room up, that's for sure. But now that that's out, I'm just gonna go into Karen here. And I'm just gonna Bug Buzz this. I could just Thunderbolt this, but I mean... I don't think Thunderbolt would KO anyway, so we're just gonna go for this. Go into Karen, get our Psychic Terrain going. I think that's fine. Yeah, you could Woodhammer if you want. Fine. Not a big deal. Then he's gonna go ahead and Drain Punch me. Not gonna KO, because Silverbolt is still pre a pretty tanky bug. Still a pretty tanky bug. He has 90 defense. 90 base defense is pre pretty good. And there you go. Just sh oh, okay. It was a critical hit. Yeah, that makes more sense. I wonder if that mattered. I, I think it did. I mean, it's base 145 special defense, though. I mean, special attack. Like, it's 216 attack at 252. How does this thing live that? It's, it's beyond me. It does have Rage Fist, so I have to be, be worried about that. But I think we just go for Trick Room and we just go for a Thunderbolt. We could also try to just get a Discharge going. No, definitely Thunderbolt. Then I hit my own dude. Oh, he actually just lets me have Trick Room. Rage Fist could have been a problem. So I'm okay with this. Because he Terra fired for whatever reason. I have no idea why. But it's good to know how broken Annihilate is. Because uh, it took that Thunderbolt way too well. Uh, that Discharge was... It's, it comes from so much special attack. This is like almost restricted levels of special attack and it, it took it so well. It's not even that Vikavolt is weak because it's not. It's it's a very strong Pokemon, that's the thing. It's a very... When, when it comes to offense, Vikavolt is insanely powerful. 145, it's literally stronger than Urshifu in, in base attack. Like, damn. Okay, so we do have our Trick Room up, right? Not forgetting things here. So I'm just going to go for the Expando of Forso, and we're just going to go for Headlong Arusho. That did way more. Oh, yeah, well, I mean, makes sense. We're under Expanding for, but still, that did way more. I don't know. Cocks are weird. Cocks are very weird because um, you got to remember, Slowbro has base 100 special attack. And that did, that feels like it did way more than the Discharge did. <laughs> I know it's a spread move, but still, it's like I expected it to KO. Oh well, GG. Let's go. Okay guys, well that's going to be the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I still can't believe Slowbro clutched it for me in game 2 though. That one was insane. I really, really was happy with Slowbro's performance. That was so good. Like those quick draw, quick clouds were coming in so often. Oh my god. I guess my RNG was like, since I was getting quick clouds and quick draws, they were giving him the accuracy drops. So it was kind of like evening itself out. I never really thought about that, but I mean, it's because the quick luck, quick draws were not happening when I needed them. Like, they, like I'm under Trick Room already. I don't really need them anymore. But when I did need it, Slowbro came in clutch. It, it, it put on its little glasses and it locked on onto that Mil Milotic and it just said, you know what? I'm doing this for you. And then just shot it, shot it right in the face and, and won it. So Slowbro, 
great job, great job. Vicarvolt did well in the in the end there too as well. We finally got to use it. So I was really happy to get to use it as well. Very, very impressive bulk on that Annihilate for it too take a it wasn't really single target right because her saloon technically i guess counts so i guess that's why he lived but i wasn't expecting i was expecting sash on the mouse hold just in case so I, that's why i went for facade plus um discharge just in case otherwise i probably would have went thunderbolt and thunderbolt would have definitely taken out that annihilate because discharge is base 80 thunderbolt is base 90 so it definitely would have but all in all really really uh, honestly happy with the team it's, I'm, I'm a big fan of Trick Room, so Trick Room teams are like my favorite. And also Psy Spam, so really happy to be able to get to make a team on Trick Room. If you guys um, enjoyed the video though, make sure to like and subscribe. The Rento and the Pokeface will be in the description below. This team will be up for a while, so don't worry. Uh, if you guys want to try out the team when Regulation H starts, go right ahead. There's a lot of power in this team. Just be very careful if you run into Choice Scarf, <laughs> Eruption, um, Hyflosions. I really did not think about that very well. So that might be your only problem with this team. But other than that, as long as they're not choice card, we should be fine. <laughs> if they are, then Lilligan is your only choice. And then you might have to like protect Wither Saluna or something. And just ensure that the the um the Typhlosion doesn't just KO everything for free. But anyways guys, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!